Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about system.io and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you link your PayPal to your system.io? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to link your PayPal to system.io anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business marketing to your list, you know that in order to receive payments, you have to collect through a payment gateway like PayPal, whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your system.io dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my system.io dashboard and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to link your PayPal to system.io, first you need to click on your profile icon here on the top right. Once you do that, you're going to see a drop down menu and you want to choose settings. Okay. So once you click on settings, you're going to see this menu here on the left and to link or connect your PayPal, click on this button here called payment gateways. Okay. So once once you do that, you're going to see all the different payment gateways that you connect to system.io. You can see there's quite a few of them, but you want to look for PayPal right here. It's towards the top and then click on this blue connect button. Okay. In order to connect your PayPal account, you want to go ahead and enter your username, password, and then signature. Okay. So once you click there, this pop-up happens. So you're going to have to enter in your PayPal API credentials, including a username, a password, and then your signature. So this information you actually have to get from your PayPal business account. So you can click right here to see the article. Okay. So here is the article that's on system.io. So as you can see this, the step we're at right here, and we're going to need to jump on over to our PayPal and get to the account settings, account access, and then API access. So let me go ahead and open up my PayPal. Okay. So here I am on PayPal. I'm going to click login. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Just note that this has to be your PayPal business account. This can't be your personal account. So I entered in my email for my business. I'm going to click next. All right. Now I'm going to enter in my password. Okay. So here I am am in my PayPal business account. So we need the API information, like I said earlier. So what we're going to do is click on your profile name here on the top, right? Once you click there, you're going to see a drop down menu and you want to click on this line right here called account settings. Okay. So once you click there, you're going to see the account access. If you don't see this page, look on the left, you're going to see this menu, click on account access right here. Once you do that, you want to scroll down until you see API access right here. Go ahead and click on the blue update button here on the right. Okay. So once you click in there, this actually looks a little bit different than the instructions that are given. So let me jump back to the instructions right here. Okay. As you can see, you click on update like what we did, but this screen looks a little different. It might've been updated, but this part is important. Scroll down to this section, NVP SOAP API integration classic. So let me jump back over to my PayPal. Okay. So we're going to scroll down and then here is what the box looks like. This is where you need to be the one that says classic. Okay guys. So this is the information that you're going to need. This is the username right here. This is the password. And then this is the signature. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste all this information into system.io. Okay. I went ahead and pasted all the information information in. One thing I want to know is that it looks like it's your username for your PayPal and your password for your PayPal. And then maybe just a signature of you. That's not the case. You do need to go to the API function that we went to, to get all of that information. It's completely different than what you might think. But once you have that information, you pasted it in, go ahead and click on this blue save button. Okay. Just a quick second later, the page refreshes back here to the payment gateway. And as you can see, my PayPal is now connected. So I can go ahead and use PayPal as a way to receive money through my system.io. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to connect your PayPal to your system.io, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.